Let's now shift our focus to China. The country is grappling with heavy rainfall, severe flooding. Our next report tells you about how the country, in order to save the capital city of Beijing, actually diverted the floodwaters to a neighboring town in the Hebei province. Take a look. As Beijing was drowning in floodwaters due to the impact of Typhoon Doksuri, and cars and bridges were being washed away. A decision was made to divert the raging waters. Using connected dams, reservoirs and waterways, the flood was pushed away from Beijing into parts of Hebei province where fewer people live. Already battered by heavy rainfall, the neighboring town of Zuozuo was hit by the force of waters on Tuesday. Many say the water was diverted to the town with little or no warning, resulting in hundreds of locals fleeing the area as the water level arose. The town was cut off with no electricity and drinking water, with relief efforts concentrated on saving people in Beijing with a much larger population. There was shortage of watercrafts to rescue people from Zuzuo immediately. Residents say they did not get ample warning from local officials before water was rerouted. With precious time lost, the much-needed relief reached the town only the next day. Fire brigade rescue teams were deployed and boats were lined up along roads which turned into rivers. <laughs> Inflatable watercrafts were launched to rescue locals and outboard motors were moved into the inundated center of the town. People who were carrying only a few belongings clung on to the trucks and were taken to the relief camps. Here, they were given first aid and food. Yes, that is the worst of those two days with the rain and rising water. The night was almost always sleepless. If any sleep, it was not solid. Then when we heard the water had reached the edge of the village, it had reached the south entrance of the village, we were also very nervous. Fortunately, things are a little under control the past two days. But I heard that the situation in the city is quite serious. Some villages are flooded more seriously. The city of Zuozuo is home to some 700,000 residents. It is one of the worst hit areas in the recent downpours and floods that have wrecked havoc in North China. The decision to divert the water has resulted in a huge public outcry. Resentment is brewing in Hebei province. People are angry they had to bear the brunt of the deadly floods to control the crisis in Beijing. While many are demanding compensation, the big question is, why did China prioritize one part of the population over another? As scientists put the blame on climate change, the sudden impact of floods has led to calls for better early warning systems in China. Bureau Report, Weon, World is One. We are now available in your country. Download the app now. Get all the updates on the move.